These are the best food farms for Minecraft Bedrock, and as always, there will be a world download in the description. The first thing you want to do is grab your blocks, and we're going to place down three blocks right here, two blocks across the back, and then three blocks on the side. Go ahead and mine out a 2x2 two two right here, place down a double chest in line with these blocks, and then grab your stairs and place down two stairs just like so. We're then going to grab our dispenser now and place down the dispenser on this side right here. Place down blocks all across this layer now. Then we're going to place down a lever on the front. Next, we're going to place down a block right here opposite of the lever. Grab your stairs, place down three stairs going all the way up. We're then going to grab our blocks again, place down two blocks right here and three blocks across this side. Two blocks at the back here and then wrap it around with blocks just like this. We're then going to go ahead and place down a temporary block right here and right here. Then we're going to grab our blocks again and we're going to create another lip going all the way around just like this. So we have a 4x4 with a 2x2 two two hole in the middle and this hole should be two blocks deep. We're then going to grab our water buckets and create an infinite water source here. And this is going to be where we have all of our cows. Really quick though, we're actually going to replace this corner block with a stair. That way you can climb all the way up. Next, you want to get two cows and we're going to lead them up top here and we're going to push them into the hole. So once they're up here, just slightly nudge them into the hole. And once you have two of these guys, you can go ahead and breed them up. But before we do that, we're going to place down a temporary block right here. And then we're going to grab our fence posts and we're going to place down four fence posts over top of the hole. You can now go ahead and break your temporary block. And now all you have to do is breed these guys until you have about 50 cows inside of the chamber. All right, and once you have a decent number of cows up here, we're ready to move on. But really quick, I just want to say that if you're playing on a lower end device like a phone, an older phone, then you're probably not going to have that many cows up here just because it's going to negatively impact the way your phone plays. So uh, keep that in mind. If your game is getting laggy, you're probably going to want to kill off some cows. This is probably about 30 or 40 and that'll do the trick, but of course the more cows you have, the better your rates will be. But after that, we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks right here, then we're going to go ahead and run two hoppers into this double chest, so that way all of the drops are going to end up inside of this chest. Next we have to remove these temporary blocks, but first we're going to grab our glass, place down two glass blocks right here, and two glass blocks above the chest. We're then going to grab our signs, place down a sign right here, and a sign underneath of the dropper. Then we're going to go ahead and break these temporary blocks or break that block and place down a sign. Break this block and place down a sign and then replace these two glass blocks so that everything is trapped. So what we're going to do now is we are going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and breed up these cows. So all of the baby cows are going to get shot down to the bottom and they are all going to be ready for us. So as you can see, we've got plenty of baby cows now. A couple more are going to fall here and there. And as you can see, we're also getting all of the XP. You're probably not going to have any cows in the area because they're going to get attracted to the wheat. But once these guys grow up, we can go ahead and kill them off using our dispenser here. And the awesome thing about this farm is that you can breed these cows like every two minutes, making these rates insane. If you have like 50 cows up there, you can probably get about half a double chest worth of cooked beef and leather in about an hour. So we're going to go ahead and open the dispenser drop in a lava bucket, and then what we're going to do to kill these guys off is turn the lever on, wait for it to hit the second block, and then quickly turn it off, like so. So all of these guys are going to burn, all the drops are going to end up down here, and if you're using a butcher and want to get emeralds by using raw beef, then you could easily just replace this with a slab, that way you can kill them with a looting three sword. But as you can see, all of the drops ended up in this chest. We got three leather and seven cooked beef. There were about four cows there, so that is pretty good. But yeah, as I can said, you can continue to breed these guys like every two minutes. So the rates for this thing are really incredible. Oh, and one more thing just to make the farm look a little nicer. Go ahead and place three blocks right here just to make it so the glass isn't exposed to the air. The first thing you want to do is place down a chest and then we're going to grab a hopper and run that hopper into the chest. We're then going to place down a block right here, place down a dispenser pointing towards the hopper, then we're going to place down a slab on top of the hopper. We're going to place down an observer facing towards that block leaving a one block gap, and then we're going to place down another observer looking at that observer to create an observer clock and if you set it up correctly the red dot should be flashing what that's doing is it's constantly updating this dispenser to shoot out all of the chicken eggs 
We're then going to grab our trap doors and place down a trap door right here and one on top and do the same thing on this side, trap door, trap door. And on the front here, you can do trap doors, but I like to use glass just like that. Go ahead and open up these trap doors now. We're going to come around on the other side, place down a block on top of the dispenser and then place down a hopper running into that dispenser. And then we're going to go ahead and place down two temporary blocks in the center there and then just surround it in blocks like so. We can go ahead and break our temporary blocks now and then we're going to go ahead and place down a lava bucket on this block and then place down a block above the lava just like this. We're actually going to remove the block we just placed over the lava and we're going to replace it with a trap door. Then what we're going to do is come around here, place down a ladder and then a trap door on top of that ladder. That way if you fall into the chicken chamber, you're able to get out and the chickens won't. So we're going to grab eggs now and we're just going to throw eggs until we have two chickens in here. And if you have to push them in, that is perfectly okay. It's a bit of a task, but they'll go right in there and we're going to get two of them. Perfect. Once they grow up, we can breed them with seeds and then we are going to collect all of their eggs to throw them back in here or we can just continue breeding our chickens with seeds. Once those guys grow up, they're going to start laying eggs. The eggs are going to go into this hopper, which are going to get shot out of the dispenser. And then all of the baby chickens are going to end up here, grow up into adults, and then all of the cooked chicken and feathers are going to end up inside of this chest. Now, if you want to continue growing your chicken empire, the easiest way to do that is just by removing one of these observers and then using this dispenser as a chest for the eggs that you can then throw back in here. The first thing we're going to do is mine out a four block strip and then we're going to place down a double chest at the front, run a hopper into that double chest and then place down a fence post on top of the hopper. We're going to place down a pressure plate on top of the fence and then we're going to go ahead and waterlog the fence place down a note block at the end here, and then a block on top of the note block. That way it doesn't make any noise. We're going to place down a trap door right here now. So that way when you walk into the pressure plate, it opens upward and connects with that block. And now I'm going to show you how to use the farm. To use the fish farm, you're going to need an auto clicker. So what you're going to do is set it to 800 milliseconds or 0.8 seconds. Set the mouse button to right click and then set up your hotkey. What we're going to do now is stand in the center of the chest as best as you can. A little difficult, but we're just going to go with it. And then we're going to look at the center in between the pressure plate and the iron trap door lined up with that fence post right in the middle and go ahead and start your auto clicker. And just like that, you are now AFK fishing. You can go ahead and leave your PC running and we're going to go ahead and get a bunch of treasure loot and a bunch of fish. And don't worry about getting a better fishing rod because you're easily going to catch a better fishing rod just by using this farm. All you got to do is sit around and wait a little bit. But as you can see, it's chopping away. I'm just waiting for it to dip down for us to get a catch. An important thing to note, though, is that make sure that you build the AFK fish farm at least five blocks away from all other water sources or it's going to interrupt the flow of things. And you're going to have fish spawning in the other water source. So it's really important that you do it five blocks away. Um, but as you can see, we caught a leather, a really weird catch. But as you can see, we also got the XP. So this thing is an awesome AFK fish farm. Uh, unfortunately, though, it does need an auto clicker. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is 1UpMC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.